the adventure of me spending all of my money continues. So as some of you guys already know, when I was 17, I was in the hospital and I made a bucket list, the top things that I've always wanted to do. We did the most expensive plane ticket. $25,000 to fly one way to Dubai. We did the seven star hotel. We did some crazy stuff in the sky. And now, we're at the top of my list. We're at the Underwater Hotel in the Maldives. And I am gonna show you guys around. But first, we're gonna go swim with some sharks. Another thing on my bucket list. Wow, I'm, just, I'm so good at this. Pretty good, Tony. How are you? Alex, what are we doing today? We're gonna go to the swimming park. You already know what kind of sharks I swim with. What kind of sharks, Tony? Oh. We tried to go see whale sharks. We actually uh, rode around on a boat for four hours and didn't see a single one. And they didn't give me a refund, so that was great. But at least we found some other sharks to swim with. So we've been having a lot of fun here in the Maldives. We went snorkeling. I didn't think they could really do it, but the guys are snorkeling outside the villa. What? I think they're like putting on a show for me. his butt cheeks. We went jet skiing. How's my driving? Horrible. It's great, yeah. We ate a lot of breakfast every day. Like, a lot of breakfast. We literally have sushi for breakfast. That is every single day. Along with all of this, and an ice cold juice bar, ice cream, fancy marshmallows. They have gluten free muffins. They care about me. Damn, that's a good crepe. They even made it gluten free for me. We found out our butler's cheating on us. What is it, 131? Indeed, honest. Yeah, the this is the guy. 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 Um, are you cheating on us? Cheating we caught you canoodling with another family. <laughs> no, it was not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird, he looked just like you. Uh, no, 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 not me. Wait, so do you have a twin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like we believe you have a twin, Shiraz. What if he actually has a twin? I'm gonna feel really bad. Okay, so I thought I was just booking like an underwater room. I didn't realize that it's this whole villa. <laughs> It is a massive living room. Honestly, like this is bigger than my house. There's two couches, there's an outdoor couch, there's chairs everywhere, a whole bar with coconuts. I don't like coconut water, but you know what? The guys will drink it. And look how cute. They made art out of bamboo. I can't even draw a damn stick figure. And then you can actually walk on this little glass balcony and you can see fishes. The Maldives is home to sharks. Dylan actually saw one showering. I'm really mad that I didn't see it when I took my shower, but it's fine. This is the bathroom for the master upstairs suite. And then they have Aesop toiletries, which is my favorite. This is the rest of the bathroom. Again, special Dyson hair dryer, super comfy towels. 
So this massive suite cost $15 million to build, two years to build, and it was actually built in Singapore and brought over by a special boat and then placed in the water. That's crazy. Also, we have our own butler. His name is Shraz, and he is the sweetest human being I've ever met in my entire life. So there's stairs, but we all know that I don't work out. So there's also an electric elevator. This elevator is going to take us 16 feet underwater. So the moment we've all been waiting for, the underwater villa in the Maldives. So this room comes with its own butler, comes with a boat, there's a private chef if you want them, but honestly, Shraz was showing us that there's different types of lights that attract fish, so I guess we're gonna play with that a little bit tonight. And then at a certain point, they turn off the lights so that the coral can have time to grow and breathe and rest. And then I think my favorite part of the entire place is the bathroom. I was taking a shower here earlier and you could just see like schools of fish will come by like every like minute or so. Like I hope this video is doing justice how insane this is. Like I'm washing my face and bam, fish. I wake up in the morning, bam, fish. I'm over here getting dressed for the day. Oh, well, actually, now there's now there's no fish. That's awkward. Oh, also, I'm staying at the Conrad. None of this is sponsored. I paid for all of this, but I do want to shout them out because they've been incredible. But as if an underwater hotel wasn't cool enough, of course, they have an underwater restaurant. So we're going to leave right now and go eat underwater. Cheers, guys. So it's about six courses. It's three hundred dollars per person just to sit here and eat here. What's caviar on buckwheat. Oh, yeah. This is like the only time I actually like caviar. Well, I'm sure the five star chef would really appreciate that. Yeah, I'll tell him. Just no reaction. Okay, so that was the very first undersea restaurant. It was absolutely amazing. It's called Ita. We had like three different chefs, seven course meal. It was very expensive. Wow, I'm just I'm such a sugar mama. Mommy. So they gave us this magical iPad and it changes the colors and the fish get really excited. Okay, ready? Deep purple. Oh my gosh! This is so cool. I guess you could say I'll be sleeping with the fishes tonight. <laughs> he is in fact a paid actor. So I'm sitting here in my hotel room that is underneath the water in the Indian Ocean. I'm watching these crazy fish and sharks go by, and all I can think about is six years ago, I tried to take my life. Feel free to skip through this part if you don't wanna hear this like sappy 30 second spiel, but um, I realized I don't think that's something I've really shared on YouTube. I don't think I was ready to share it on YouTube, but that is why I'm so passionate about mental health and speaking about my experiences. I think the biggest thing that helped me was knowing like that I'm not alone, that I'm not the only one going through it, that I'm not crazy, it's not my fault. I had all of these awful lies filled in my head that things would never get better. I was convinced that I was never gonna be happy, that I didn't deserve to be happy. But yeah, it just hit the six year anniversary of the day. I was very, very thankful that a friend of mine found me and saved my life. After that day, I realized how badly I wanted to live and I made the choice to get help and get better and be happy. And obviously I still have ups and downs and sometimes month long periods of depression, but it is absolutely worth it to just fight through it. Find the right people and find what works for you. But yeah, I'm just feeling so incredibly thankful and blessed. It's pretty much all I can think about, but you know, I was just a kid bussing tables, going to school, unsure what to do with my life, and now I'm staying in this insanely incredible resort in the middle of the Maldives. Number one item on my bucket list. So I guess this is just a message to everyone and anyone out there. You truly can do anything you put your mind to. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Please keep going, keep fighting, you can do it. You got this. Alrighty, enough with the sappiness. I'm sorry if you didn't enjoy that, um, but I had to do it. Okay, love you guys. And now I'm officially out of money, so we're hopping back on a plane to Los Angeles in a couple hours. I really hope you guys enjoyed this four-part series of me living out my bucket list dreams that I made when I was 17. I really wanna do more vlog-style content and more travel content. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing after three years, so let me know if you guys liked it. Subscribe, 
if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Dude, this guy has just been straight sneaking a peek. Look, look, look. He keeps like coming up and like going back down. Mm -hmm.